All right, well, I'm here with Ty Frank and Daniel Abraham of James S.A. Corey fame. They're a collective game, really, but they are the authors of the series that The Expanse is based on. And a lot of people don't realize how rare it is to have writers uh, from the source material be in involved in the writer's work. How has that been, especially now that we're going into the second season? That's been great. I mean, it's, it's generally speaking, a genuinely terrible idea to have. Uh, <laughs> writers in the writer's room because we come in and we think, well, but I wrote it like this, it should stay like that, and uh, that's absolutely not what the process looks like when you're adapting So, and Did you have to give over a lot of Well, I mean, we were, we were lucky because we were already collaborators, so adding more people to the collaboration wasn't that hard. I think it's much harder to go from one to two than from two to eight, uh, at least in my in my experience it is. And so we already were used to that process and we already had a rule that uh, in any story argument the best idea wins. We just extended that to the room, so when we're discussing plot so points. You're uniquely suited to the well, kind of selection say, process. I wouldn't say uniquely, but but well. I think we were well seen. Yeah. Um, and talk about the, the gaming influence too, because of yeah. course the yeah. worlds are very rich of Mars and Earth and the because of it, why do you think the gaming element actually pulls in richer background? Uh, well, because at, at the time I was trying to write enough story for a hundred million dollar MMO, um, which never happened. But uh, <laughs> I wish it would. <laughs> I would play it that would game. Would be awesome, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah you, you wind up creating as much content as you possibly can. And in this case, it was you know I needed Mars to not just be one location but many locations. I needed the outer solar system to be many locations. Um, so it led me to doing a lot of research on like what Ganymede is like in Io and creating you know little pockets of civilization for all of those places so that they could be good game locations. Then when all of that went away and it became a book, I still had all that stuff. My experience was coming to it as a tabletop role playing game. So okay. I, I was running a tabletop role playing game. I got to play in it. And I said, You've done all of this research. You've done all the world building. I've written some novels. I know how to do that. I mean, uh, let's put these two together and start it up. It almost seems like that would be a good formula for a lot of it. And, and yet, the thing is, yeah. I, I've, I've run some role playing games before and I've played in a bunch of role playing games before. And the thing that was spectacular about this one was the world building. Because we, we had characters and we had stories, um, but the translation of stories from role-playing game sessions into fiction is uh, legendarily bad and difficult. <laughs> um, the part where you just write down the, the gaming session and try to make it a story, it doesn't work. No, we've seen that. But yeah. The uh, second season, congratulations on that, but also you've got the next book in the series coming out. Yep. Okay. In December. Hey, okay. yeah, so in December, can you tell us what that might be hit without obviously getting into what might interfere with the show? Yeah. Well, it's, it's completing the story that we started with book five, which is Nemesis Games. Um, it's, uh, that was sort of a, a, a single story kind of divided across two books. Um, so we're finishing up that story and uh, setting the stage now for the last three. And a lot of those character moments from Nemesis Games are showing now in the show. Uh, 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 some. Um, because that's where we get a lot of the characterization. One of the things that's been really interesting is having the backstory that we kind of hid in the books come up earlier in the show. So you wind up seeing hints and uh, parts of the characters that we were a little more happy with a little more up front in the, the screen. All right, well, it's working out great, and I uh, congratulations on season two. We can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>